Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Shadows of Starlight series, uh, episode um, eight, I think. Hey, is this bent? It's bent. Ugh. Got to be my horrible driving, right? Yeah, just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Anyway, we are here today inside the hangar of the. Oh, this guy wants to come for a visit. I. I'm not going to take any solicitors. Thank you very much, but go away. Okay. So. This is the CV that I, oh, let's, um, let's not die out here. Come on, come on, get back. <laughs> Anything going to kill me? Okay, no, okay. Okay, uh, let's turn my light on, yeah. So I was, I outfitted the CV with all the stuff basically from the base. And this is what we got here. So we've got our healing center with the four basic scanners and the uh, medic station. Some food processing capability and refrigeration. We've got a couple of advanced constructors, an O2, uh, fill up your, your suit O2 so that, uh, you know, even though it's oxygenated in here, uh, it's more of a courtesy thing, right? So, um, and you need to fill it up all the time anyway when you're out and about. So. The armor locker repair station up there. We've got a shower. Uh, I don't think I had enough to build a toilet. And maybe we can rectify that. Um, I didn't say rectify. I, I said rectify. Okay. So. We are here today. We just we just visited the after packing up the base. I didn't multi-tool down the whole structure. I just took the guts out of it, including all the growing stuff. Uh, and that was one of the things I came here about. Was so we're here at the trading station. We're still on Brexus, and. I came here to get uh, growing plots and stuff, and and bought him out. He had four plots, um, and that's it. So now I've got like nine, and and that's it. Uh, and I tried to multi-tool a couple of them down to disassemble them. Is it disassemble? Which which one is it? It's not the. It's not, it's it's, uh, it's deconstruct. Yeah, I tried to deconstruct, and it still gave me back whole blocks. So I'm not sure if I would have to switch that to public, and I still, I think I tried that, and I think I still got whole blocks from it because that, it can't give back partial stuff, but I was hoping to get back like two fibers, you know, you know, and then, and then like, it, like seriously, I'm trying to get a freaking fiber sprout <laughs> like I, I haven't been able to get fiber on this planet at all anyway not my problem anymore we're getting out of here we've got this thing built it's slow as molasses but i have armored it all up because the whole thing's made out of combat steel now i've upgraded it to combat steel it was just regular uh iron but <clears throat> i have went through the whole thing and made it all combat steel as you can see so it's heavy as crap and slow as molasses but we're not going to get necessarily one shot even though it's only one single layer of combat steel it's still combat steel you can't like i think maybe base artillery can and might be able to take out one block with a single shot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. Anyway, we're not going th close to any bases with this thing. Uh, I have the SV up top. So here's all the um, 
engines and so all I had to do is take take the drives out I had all those 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 generators right all those T1 uh, generators that so I just used one of them I didn't need more than one of them for this whole ship so <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, here's the uh, bug eye bus up here on top I only got one gun so far I'm thinking I need to put another one up here so I got that one there that guy's just stressing he's got to chill that frost man that that the Iceman's got to chill out. Okay. Um, I say we just go. I'm. Um, yeah. Let's let's just go. You can you can I can show you the ship later. It's it's just an ugly hunk of metal. You don't need to see this thing. So let's see. Let's take a look at our PDA. And it's telling us that we need to go boldly go where others have gone before, and that is to the Velda system. Well, check your PDA warp to the Velda system. Check your star map. Yeah, so I did that, and like there is no Velda system. We're only close to one other system, so we have no other. We have no other course. We have to go to this Malago. And I have no idea what's there. It's going to cost 21.8 uh, pentaxid. So let's do it. Let's lock that in. Now, you know what? I should probably add more guns, right? Let's let's do that really quick. I think I yeah I've got I've got the resources to do this. I've got plenty of resources to make some more guns. So some mini guns. <clears throat> And minigun turret base, minigun turret CV. There we go. So let's make two more of those. And what do we like on the... We've got 10,000 bullets for it. So, okay. We're okay for ammo right now. I don't really want to make the rockets, even though, did I take all, you know what, I, I unlocked level 25 too, forgot to mention, it's, um, once you have a experience making machine, it's really easy to grind experience, <laughs> okay, uh, well, I guess I just take everything that I haven't taken, right, so I'll just go through and check every box, because that's basically what you do by the time you're 25 you know everything so we just oh here we go this is see the multi turret for the cv is pretty cool artillery turret those are some big guns i don't have the huge resources to build them and make the ammo for but that's not the point let's unlock all this stuff so, get all of that unlocked, it's unlocked, and unlocked, unlocked, oh, laser pistol, unlocked, right, we get some, uh, we get one weapon, the T2 laser, really, oscillator power coil, yikes, you don't even get a, um, an enhanced version. 101 damage, magazine capacity 40. Wow. Uh, rate of fire 353. That's actually super fast. That's pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. That's faster than the projectile. What about the T2? Oh, not quite as good as the T2, but pretty close. Not bad. A lot more damage, double the amount of damage, so max range 90, range of 90, but ignores atmospheric density, so it's always 90. So that's a big thing. Huh. Reload time 2.1, 2.1, same. 
500 durability, 500 durability. So really it's the damage output. Just multiply that by the rate of fire and that gives you basically um, basically gives you the damage per minute. So we're looking at uh, 35,000 and change, 35, three, 35 and a bit, 35, three and change. So that's, that's really big damage. T2 would be um, So that is 20,000. 20,000? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, huh. Laser pistol kicking ass at 35,300 and change. So, wow big difference in damage so that that's huge even though the t2 pistol is a big jump from the regular pistol damage 42 at 300 so that's like 12,600 and 20,000 so yeah big jump to the t2 shotguns they're doing uh, max, but they're different. At close range, they do an incredible multiplier. Yeah, they cut through armor too at close range. It's uh, so not very good. 4,300, huh. So it's pretty low. And that's 5,000. 5,000 damage over a minute. So 6,000 damage. That's pretty good. But that's at close range. It does, you can one-shot stuff, right? So it's different. It's, it's not comparable. Um, it's a different type of weapon for a different situation. Shotguns are close range only. Where this laser laser pistol is like uh, range ninety, why not? Yeah. So you can see, yeah, it's minigun. I mean, that's we're talking up into the thirty six thousand damage per minute mark if it's hitting all the time, doing regular damage, right? So that's right up there with the uh, T2 laser pistol. So the enhanced minigun is about the same as the T2 laser pistol for damage. Range 150, max range 150, but that's subject to atmosphere density, but still it's not gonna be kicked down to lower than 90, would it be? It might be, I don't know. Plasma cannons, they are super slow, are they not? Yeah, 32, but they're doing mass damage. So, 18, 19,000, 19, two, so not bad. Enhanced is doing, uh, a lot <laughs> it's not as it's still the laser pistol and the um, and the enhanced mini gun are still the best so far for overall sustained damage so these are the thing about these these weapons these heavy weapons is that it's a it's a good for one shot damage against like like uh, ground turrets and stuff, like something that really needs big damage to be taken out by. 
600 damage. Now the laser rifle is personally one of my favorite and I was just about to make one. But I think I actually have a, a kit for the uh, a laser rifle. You need a laser rifle and a laser upgrade kit. And Zasko's Humalo. I might be able to make one. The only problem is, is their laser rifle cells are quite expensive to make and pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, big damage. Look at that. Wow. We're talking like 46,000. 46,000. Yikes. How's the uh, T2 pulse? That's huge too. That's uh, 43, 44,000. So big damage. So, so far the enhanced laser rifle and the enhanced pulse rifle are actually doing the most damage. So there you have it folks. When you, when you do the multiplication of the rate, rate of fire times the damage, that gives you the damage per minute on average, or that gives you your overall damage per minute. And then you can just average that down to per second or whatever by dividing by 60. Uh, so that's rate of fire 150. That's actually huge too. <clears throat> the enhanced sniper. Anyway, we diverge. Let's get out of here. So we've got our Yeah, it's already, it's already marked. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, do I get that turned on? No, let's go here. And we've got my engines, turn those on. I just put them on a custom switch that turns all the RCS and everything, everything except for the bare necessities off. <clears throat> So even with the low gravity, this thing's really slow. This thing might not even get off the ground in a heavy gravity planet. I'm not sure if I want to go to a heavy gravity planet with this thing. Most of the real heavy gravity planets are like those, uh, the fire planet or the, the lava planets. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually left atmosphere. I, have, I didn't even leave atmosphere in the SV, so... And, oh, right away we've got a big ship. And... Where is... Where's the... Oh, do I gotta go back in? It doesn't show up. That's right, too. You gotta go back in, highlight it. And then it should be no. Okay, so I got to go in and like unlock, close, and then go back in and lock, relock. Yes, and then it should, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a bug. If you lock it when you're in atmosphere, you can't. Uh, uh, am I up to fast enough? Ooh, just barely. See, I was only doing 67.9. That's the max this thing will do. But it's good enough to work. Okay, so we're here. Let's check out. I don't see any red dots right off the bat. We are 83 away. This is not bad. It's got a moon. Or is that just... No, that's not a moon. That's just a big... Big rock. Okay. Let's take a look. So difficulty three, gold, promethium, and pentaxid in orbit. Nice. Okay, so it breaks off into two other sectors. The Veldus. Ah, there's Veldus. And Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex, eh? Okay. Uh, let's see what's here. This has nothing. Nothing?
Wow, I've never actually seen a planet that had no resources. Nothing. Are you... Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, gold promethium pentaxid in orbit, though. Gold. Hmm. And pentaxid and promethium. Fuel and money. Now, do I have enough to actually make... Let's take a look. Do I actually have enough to make a... What would that be? That would be a drill turret. Ooh, multi-turret for the HV, yeah. A drill turret for the HV. Not enough Zaskosium. Yeah, it's the Zaskosium. <sighs> Too bad. That'd be huge if I had that drill turret. Well, we can get close enough to something. Now, I don't have enough guns on me, though. I wonder if we should just go to the Veltus system. We've got lots of Pentaxid. We don't have a lot of food, though. And is that a... That looks like an arid planet. <gasps> I might be able to get, like, tomatoes there. Off, like, a plant dude or something, right? Should I go check it out? Should we just at least check it out now that we're here? Even though it has no resources, should we go down and check it out? Hmm? It's minus 200 here. I don't know if... Let's, um... That's pretty intense. Minus 200. And, okay, I've got two. And probably one of them's good enough anyway. Okay. So let's take that. And we can put this in the food processor. Put that in there too. Okay, um, I need to eat. And you know what, why don't I just take that with me? Okay, now I gotta put this on. Oh, and that, yeah, I, that's funny. Let's put that in here. I looted a pistol from the admin station on Brexus. So there was a pistol in the... There was a personal cargo box in the main building, in the main area there. And I, I had a one-shot loot of a projectile pistol. That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's put these guns on. I think might be a good idea. So we'll go outside, we'll put these guns on, and... Then we'll go check out the planet. So. What do we need? We need the. Where is it? Equipment. That's what it is. There it is. Okay. Hmm. It's going to kill my armor anyway. Do I want to kill my mobility? No, we'll keep we'll keep it with me. I can always switch it out in the ship when I get onto shore. So we've got lots of bullets on us. We've got some healing stuff. We've got some food. We've got plenty of. I don't want to leave all that. Or I don't want to. Um, I don't want to take all that. That's could be stupid, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, if I die and lose what I lose, then I lose what I lose. Speaking of, let's make sure that this is my home spawn. Yes. Okay. 
can fill all this up. Okay. Okay. Let's head up there and we're going to put the turrets on. I think I'll just put uh, one in the front, one in the back on the top here. That's worked the best for me before. And is that center or is that or center? Center is right there. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on. I'm radiating myself on my, oh yeah, see I'm missing. That's funny as heck. Look at that, I actually gave myself some radiation. So let's get in the cab here and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna fire it up and we'll let it warm up a bit here for a second and good enough. Whoa. Um, I got a little bit stuck in between the, uh, yeah, I was, must have been clipping into the guns there. Okay. Well, I'm hoping she'll be okay. I just left the guns as default. So that means it'll shoot at anything that gets near it. And I forget what the other one's set at. Hopefully stuff doesn't come at me from the bottom or I'm dead. Uh, oh god, I left the engines on. Okay, well that's not a big deal. What I can do is... Well, I've got my... Here, let's just... Open this. We'll spawn this. We go over to here. And we go... Turn the engines off. Do we get in it? Doesn't... There we go. Okay. So that was a pretty good gain, actually. I don't know why I'm flying back with my... <laughs> and come on. Yeah, there we go. So... Jeez, I've lost... I lost a piece... A couple of blocks on this thing. Okay, I gotta be careful. I guess I... Don't really want to be getting too much into combat, even though I've got a lot of weaponry. Got lots of ammo on me. Oh, let's, um, let's just quickly put my food away. <laughs> so it doesn't, although it's cans, highly unlikely to spoil. They last for a long time. I don't know. Didn't really need to put them away, I guess. Just the OCD in me. So I guess what I'm trying to accomplish here, I'm going to shoot a bunch of, of plant dudes, hopefully. And it looks like a water world, right? Right? Maybe they'll be like natives or something. I don't know. I haven't seen anything, like no POIs. Um, okay, so here's a big chunk of water right there. I think we'll just come straight down into there. Where are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Is that the ocean right there? How high, high are we? We're, we're not very high at all. Okay. Let's turn our night vision on. Interesting. I don't see any POIs. So there's no resources. I'm wondering if there's going to be dudes, those little plant dudes. So let's get in closer to the to the shore here and see if there's any critters. So, oh, there's a golem by the look of it. Really, a golem? What, like a... What kind of golem? Here, let's take my light off. That's not a frost golem. So this is a... Wait, this is a desert planet. But it's like... Covered in water. Okay, let's... Let's kill this guy. And see there's other more of them up there. Huh. Really? Isn't that interesting? Let's level off. They're everywhere. Look at them. Huh. Okay, so let's spawn my drone. I have to do a little. I'm just gonna take my jetpack off just to do a tiny little hop. And my ship keeps hovering. And so it's a desert golem. Oh, come on. And really, stone? Uh, okay, inconclusive. Need, need more evidence. Are, are these desert golems? Come over here, buddy. Come on. No, don't just spin around like a jerk. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Go there. And... Let's just get off the ground a little bit here. Okay, okay, so better, better. Interesting, so it's got, it's got the basic resources there. Let's, let's kill some more, I just, I want to see if these are the same ones that drop Neo. Because that could be pretty huge if I could get a stockpile of Neo going on. And Cobalt. trying. There's enough of them. <laughs> kind of crazy. Wow, look at them all. Oh, I pissed off his buddy too. Sorry, dude. I'll have to kill you. Okay. So let's level off. Check these guys out. And no Neo. Yeah. 
And oh, Neo. Yep. Prometheum too. Wow. That was actually quite the haul. Oh, you can totally get all the resources you need just farming these guys. Wow. Really? So, the three basic, plus, plus Cobalt, plus Neo. If they drop Seth, you, you could, like, build a CV from killing them. That's kind of funny. Well, that's a lot of guys. I mean... I could farm them for Neo, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's let's just kind of check this planet out a little bit more. I don't see any POIs, so it's it's kind of boring so far. But I mean, I guess if you wanted to come here to to level and kill golems if you had, weren't already level 25 we'll see we'll see if there's any POIs there if there's no POIs this will be just like a weird system so I'm not really seeing any over there Although the glare from the sun is really bright. That's kind of trippy. I don't remember intense flare from the sun like that before. So I'm not really seeing anything here worthwhile on this planet, really, other than the golems. And I mean, there's worms. There's worms and golems, so you could you could technically, I guess, live here. It's got water. <laughs> uh, I could build a base here, I guess. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Be a golem farmer. is kind of weird. I just don't see any POIs here. Okay, so I think we're just wasting our time. <sighs> Let's leave this planet. So this... <laughs> I'm a little curious now. Let's, it's PvP. Malago, Alien... Breathable atmosphere. Okay. Huh. Huh. Sea creatures are Malago's only indigenous creatures. So they have a def they have a base in orbit, and that's it. Okay. So it's like. I guess I could build a base here and farm golems for Neo. That's really boring. So let's not do that. I mean, but it is a breathable water planet, so it's it is viable with the with the worms there. I could make I could I could farm the creatures and and live there. But, why? I'm on a mission, right? So let's head back to the ship. I guess we're going to the Veldus system. So, wow, we're on the other side. We're on the other side. Gosh darn. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, this thing is much faster than the ZV. It's like twice as fast. Ah. <sighs> 
so what I usually do on a long journey like this is I'll stick it into autopilot so by by doing that I mean by taking the auto brake off and then take my finger off the button and then I can reach over and grab my mug and kind of drift around also I can pivot around now that my thrusters aren't going I'm not changing direction so I'm still moving in the same direction but now I can pivot around and look and oh what is that that that's that looked like a thing that was not that was not huh that was a critter of some sort that that looked scary should I should I go take a look I need to go take a look now let's let's head back there and take a look so we're gonna take put auto brake back on because it's almost undrivable without Okay, so what is that? Is that a is that an asteroid with a base on it? Yeah, it looks like there's Yeah. So there's space drones flying around it. So that must be the base that it's talking about, a well defended base. So Eh, I don't think we need to go check it out then. Let's just head back. But see, I would have missed that. I wouldn't have even seen that if I wasn't floating around and, and checking out the view. I'm actually hopeful to find, like, meteorite, asteroid, because there was, there was resource asteroids in space here. But I don't think we're going to get lucky. I'm... It's not seen any. Nothing's popped up in a camera either. Whoa! Let's uh, slow down and come in for a landing. Okay. Oh, come on. Stop overshooting. Come on, what do I, I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know why I'm hitting that button. I want to hit this button. Come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my beans back, damn it. Okay. Enough. We'll get out of here. Head back into the CV. So, always remember when you're going out into space to make sure you have your EVA on because you'll just have a bad day if you don't. And, come on, really? Okay. Let's just <laughs> jump in the driver's seat. So our map is showing Veldus. So Veldus orbit, Veldus, Veldus moon, and oh, that's weird. Uh, okay.
It's just, for some reason, it's it's indented underneath all this. I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> Brexus? <laughs> There's a Brexus in Veldus? No, because that's Brexus there. So that's that's a little bit screwed up. Anyway, uh, let's do... You know what? We can always head back to there. I know it wants us to go there right now. Oh, let's just do it. Let's go there. I don't know why I'm delaying. It's the inevitable. We got to do this. Uh, let's fire our engines up. I don't need to pull the pentaxid out. I'll just get up to speed. Okay. You have entered Veldus Orbit. Oh, we just it updated our PDA, so now we've got to find the UFP spy satellite. <clears throat> 52425. Okay. So let's open the map. Fifty two four twenty five. Somewhere over there. Okay. So I don't know if I want to bring the ship into potential danger. Let's let's see what this has so it's got no asteroids. It's a temperate swamp-like planet with rich ore deposits, a breathable atmosphere, and changing seasons. Indigenous people are the Talon, a peaceful yet technology backward race of bipedal. Okay, so what is on the planet itself? Iron, copper, promethium, magnesium. Okay. So really? Not even silicone? What about the moon? Sathium. Whoa. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. We've got Sathium on the moon. Hmm. We might have to go for that. That's very cool. Hmm. So let's make sure that let's put all that stuff away here. And let's throw all that in here. Okay. So I've got a ton of everything except Neo and Sath. Huh. So I could get a bunch of, I could go farm those golems, I guess. That's interesting. It's kind of funny. Because I only had enough to make 30 Neo and a little bit of Sath. Okay, well, do we have any more in there? Let's see, we've got 41 Sath now and 64 Neo. Okay, so we need a lot more, obviously. Hmm. I need the better stuff. I need power coils and because those, how many flux coils can I make? What, if, what do they cost? Get back here. Two Sath, five Neo, two Cobalt, five Neo. 
Really? So I could make like 12. Make about 12. Okay. So I need way more. But that's not bad. At least I have some now. Um, well, you know what? I have a feeling it's a trap. I just, I don't know. Let's do an outskirt loop around because that looks way out there. Since there's no asteroid, there's no resources in space here at all. It's only the only thing we're going to run into is uh, drones. I mean, not that I wouldn't mind looting some drones, but really, I just. I don't want to risk too much with a CV. Although, I mean, with the with the turrets on it, it should be just fine. So hopefully we don't die or get ambushed because that would really suck. This is uh, quite the distance away. Wow. I don't see any POIs. I don't. I'm looking for the little telltale signs of the uh, drone movement, too, and I don't. Oh, no, I see one up ahead. There it is, right in front of me. come into he's gonna get close here in a second we're gonna have to deal with him and we could probably avoid him by going up and around but that's okay we'll Let's see how this thing performs against a drone. Whoa! Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's try looting him. Whoa. Caught up to him real fast. So we'll just 
Got my jetpack on. Let's jump out. Get my drone going. Oops. And oh, come on. Oh, nice power coils and other goodies. Very, very good. So let's continue on. Oh, there's another one over there, but that's pretty far. I think we can look over here first. So, there we go, there's something over there, see that? Okay, so we've got to deal with this guy. Let's, I don't need, I don't need the marker anymore. Kill this plasma drone. Obviously, might well actually, it, it's quite far. There we go. That's the way you do it. Nice, more goodies, more goodies, flux coils, I like it, I like it. I don't need to go down there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, that looks like a satellite. There we go, a spy satellite. Seriously? Seriously? You got to be kidding me. I did not think my guns were going to start shooting at it. Um Crap. I, I hope that'll take care of drones. Let's try mounted weapon and turret still on. I think it was probably shooting at generator. And, or maybe other faction. I don't know. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. It's not shooting anymore, not shooting. Hopefully I didn't destroy it. That would just suck. Security not installed. System deactivated. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got... 
Somebody coming in here. Where did he just go? Huh. See, I'm getting a red arrow, yeah. Do I need to go take care of this guy? I think I might need to. There's another one over by the planet too. This guy's really close. I say we... I say we talk him into coming over here. should be able to handle him if he comes in. There we go. Okay, so let's head back over here. I don't want to stray too, too, too far. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't destroy anything. It's got an open hatch. I see right there. All very interesting, isn't it? Huh. Okay, so that is just the killed space drone. So let's put the stuff in here. Eat some food. No, I'm also just, well, I don't need to put that in there. I didn't mean to put that in there. I want to put that in the fridge. Okay, well, let's jump out and check it out on the next episode. <laughs> so there we go. We've made it to the UFP spy satellite, and we are supposed to decrypt the database at a console inside of it. So we're going to go check that out on the next episode, and we'll see what happens. Until then, guys. If you like this episode, like and subscribe, and uh, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.